And I met in the port of Palermo a migrant, just not speaking, just being so, so, so serious, so sad, watching just down. And I went by him and said, what happens? Don't worry, the worst is passed. Now we are in Palermo, now in the port of Palermo. Now you can leave. You have saved your life. Tomorrow will be better than yesterday. He did not speak, did not reply. And I was insisting. I gave my business card. I wrote my hand the telephone. I said, if there's some, some problem, please call me, call me. It was signed 10 minutes long. After 10 minutes, without watching me, he said, Mr. Mayo, how can you imagine that I am happy to be here, to live? I was obliged to kill two of my brothers. I met just a pregnant uh, lady coming from Nigeria. She told me the story. She spoke perfect English. And she was with, the, the, uh, with a, a, a young man. And she told me, Mr. Mayo, I left Nigeria. And I left Nigeria because I was pregnant. I walked with my men seven days, seven nights to reach Libya. Finally, I reached Libya. And in Libya, I received for three months terrible violences. All the possible violence that can be done against a pregnant woman. May I don't say which violences I suffered. After three months, finally, we got $4,000. And we went in a boat. We went in a boat. And we went in, a, in the boat five days, five nights in, in Mediterranean Sea. Finally, an Italian Navy arrived and carried us to the port of Palermo. And now, now that I see you, I remember you were in the port welcoming us. After 48 hours, my child was born in an hospital in Palermo. And I asked, the, may I ask you, your activity in Nigeria? The young lady replied, I was professor of English, Mr. Mayo. Then I asked the judge to the man, may I ask you, your activity in Nigeria? He replied, I was an informatic engineer, Mr. Mayo. Then, uh, I, I have a shame, but I am proud to have asked, did somebody die during the five days of our nights in the boat in Mediterranean Sea? This young lady replied with terror, no, no, I have seen nothing, I have seen nothing. I had in front of me my pregnant daughter killing somebody. This young lady killed somebody, just removing the harm, simply. Just like Raskolnikov in Dostoevsky, Delito in Castigo. Just killing just a man. We spend days and night, television program, talk show, about one killing in Perugia, one killing in Milan, one killing in London, one killing in Hamburg. Just speaking about the prosecutors, the lawyers, the sentences. We keep thousands and thousands of people in the condition to kill persons, to kill the mother, to kill the brothers, to kill another, another migrant trying to live. And it seems just to hear the stories of Dachau and Auschwitz, just the same stories. And the, the world discovered finally that the problem does exist when we have seen a, a little, a little boy died in the coast of Turkey. All the world was impressed. I protest. I strongly protest. I was impressed too, of course. But I protest because I was impressed. We were impressed because this little boy appeared to be our son, our grandson. He was well dressed. He was just, just like our, our sons. For many, many years, we have seen thousands and thousands of black, dirty children 
African children killed, died, no one protested. They are human beings too. The human beings are not people, are not all the people appearing just like our sons. The human beings are all the human beings. If I can imagine that my, that my daughter, pregnant, could be a killer, may I imagine that I could be among the 10,000 who will never forget the sufferings they, they had. Waiting that the world will change, I wish to tell you that I will be happy if one day I will be arrested because uh, I keep in my home illegal migrants because no man is illegal. I will respect, of course, the sentences of the judges, but please um, send to me compliments, uh, not compassion, but compliments because uh, no man is illegal. I was saying that in front of prosecutor, in front of police, during a public meeting. I said that I, I am happy to imagine that it should be wonderful to be arrested because I keep in my home, not criminals, not mafiosi, uh, but people having passport, but not having, not having a residence permit. It was very funny because in the meeting there was the Bishop of Marsala, went to the podium, was not in the program. Uh, he said, uh, I wish to speak. After the, I have heard the mayor of Palermo, I wish to say to all the police, to all the prosecutor, that in my palace, in Bishop Palace, there are 15 uh, illegal migrants. And he went just to sit. There was the Archbishop of Montreal, another Archbishop. He said, may I speak? He went there and he said, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mayor. I'm so sorry, uh, Bishop of Mazzara. I have only five illegal migrants in my palace. I think that we are speaking about the future. The future is to accept that each city is a mosaic, not a painting, a mosaic. And uh, there's a difference between a painting and a mosaic. A painting does not need the framework. Antonello da Messina, uh, Goya, um, Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Miro, do not need framework. They are wonderful even without framework. A mosaic without framework is a confused list of pieces of stones of different colors. We need to have a framework. In the past, in the past, the framework was made by Catholic Church, uh, Mafia, and aristocracy. Then it was made by Catholic Church, Mafia, and Fascism. Then it was made by Catholic Church, Mafia, and politics. An alliance, just giving a criminal harmony to my, to our highland. Now, instead of mafia, we have in the framework respect of human rights. Therefore, I am proud to be the mayor of the city that is able to say to be different, to be equal. To be different because we are different. We are pieces of stones inside the mosaic. To be different because we respect the human rights. I am proud to be the mayor of the city of Palermo, where I was born a Catholic priest, Don Pino Puisi, that is going to be declared a saint by the Pope, that was killed by the Mafia in 1993. He was killed by the Mafia because he countered the Mafia without weapons, without law, without sentences. He only, he only asked for the children of the Nibro, where he was parish, to have a school, to have a school. But the idea that the, the children are free to pretend respect of the human right is uh, terrible for the mafia bosses. But I am in the same time proud to be the mayor of the city of Palermo where we organized two years ago the largest, the biggest gay pride in South Europe. Human rights, 300,000 people went in gay pride in Palermo. 300,000 people, the families with the children. Human rights, human rights. And I think that to accept that to, li to live is human right and to abolish death penalty, to accept that freedom is human right and to abolish slavery, and to accept to abolish dress and permit 
because uh, rest of permit is the new slavery, the new death penalty, I think one way to build the future.